what is going on guys welcome back to the channel <laughs> welcome back to the channel welcome to a new video i look kind of crusty right now because i got my work clothes on i literally just came back from work and i got my boy kev out here <laughs> haven't seen him in the video and god knows how long i haven't really posted much in the past couple of weeks but the reason is i'm back to work now i know from the last video i I think the last video, second to last video, I said I wasn't working, but now I'm back at work. I have a couple of goodies in this video that I'm gonna show you. Hopefully this does get uploaded. Um, I'm actually testing out the GoPro. I got a couple of goodies. Number one, I am recording on the new GoPro Hero 8. I finally got to purchase one of those and I'm finally getting to use it. Hopefully this video does go as planned. It's gonna be a quick and easy install because I have the Torque Solutions shifter bushings that go on the shifter by the transmission hopefully we get to install those and see if the shifting feels any different and also have the shifter what is it called the short shifter for the camry hopefully it's it works um it says it's for like uh the older camry the the fourth generation camrys and the camry solera but hopefully it does fit um, we're gonna see if we can install it today and install the shifter bushings. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Here's one of them. You just take out the rubber grommet in there where the shifter goes. I'll show you guys in a second. But this is where that goes and then it has a C-clip that goes around here. And these are Delrin, I believe, which is a basically hard plastic, um, a lot harder than the factory ones so uh let's see if we can get installing this first we're gonna go and try to install the uh, short shifter inside the car and we're gonna take everything apart <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> all right so what we're first thing we're gonna do is um basically take apart the center console first step second step you open this I don't have a screwdriver, but basically you just take off this whole center console thing and it's very dirty, but just lift up like this. Usually you put a screwdriver on the inside here and the inside there and it'll pop out. But the amount of times I took this off, I don't need to do that. There we go. Holy. It is, oh I don't know what any, I, I don't know. I don't know, don't don't show that please. <laughs> All right, so this is what the shifter looks like. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to install this thing, but we're gonna see, I've never done it before. And um, basically you're gonna see, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back at you guys when all this like is. It will go in. Yeah, cause this goes here. Oh yeah, my fit. Oh, this is where that ball goes. Okay. Depends what you know. You could do take this off, and you'd be it'd feel like a short shifter already. <laughs> no. What? What? Oh, that hurt. What? What? Transmission coming soon. I hope so. That after I build the head, that's the next thing, and I'm gonna be chilling. The time. All right, so I finally got the shifter off. Kev had to leave. It started lightning and it kind of rained a little bit. But um, basically, I got the uh, shifter off. You need 12 millimeter bolts for right. Oops, oops. Right here and right there. And now you can finally, let's see, remove the shifter. Be careful not to lose those bolts. Try to do this with one hand, and there's a clip that basically goes around this thing here that goes around here, and then basically you just unclip it and pull it back that way, and then boom, the shifter is out. And then I'm see if I could try to um, figure out how to put the new shifter in here instead of uh, having this old filthy one. All right, so I switched to my phone. Julian is actually at my house right now, and we finally got the stock shifter off, and it was a pain to take this off. 
Um, we had to hammer, do everything. Um, you have to take these clips off here. You, you have to basically hammer this pin out so that this thing can pop out. Then all of this can pop out. So then you can take the this part right here in the middle off. And then when you take that piece off, then you can take this off and then take off the old shifter. And then you have to reassemble everything back. It's so hard to explain because we were sitting here for about 30 minutes trying to do it. And we finally got the short shifter on and we're gonna try to install it into the car. My GoPro is about to die, so that's why I'm on my phone now. But um, we're gonna look at the size difference. Hold on. Look at the size difference. All right, so we're back in the car, about to put the shifter on. And these were the pins that I was talking about. So these are the pins that I was talking about that you have to take off. This one in particular goes like underneath here. You gotta take it off from underneath here. And that goes to this one in the middle. Um, sorry that it's messy, I've never cleaned in here. But yeah, we're gonna try to install it back and see if everything works. All right, so after about like five minutes, I finally got this clip right here on. You have to put it like behind that little lip right back there and then you have to basically pry these two oh, you gotta pry those two out and then slip it in the back uh you pry it open and slip it through the back <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then you just <laughs> And then you put <laughs> you got the clip back on and this piece right here <laughs> the white piece that's inside i don't know if you guys can see that that uh you're gonna keep on there and then there's one that comes with the uh top part right here and that one you're gonna take off because the stock shifter never came with it and they're they're both size both the same size but got this clip on and now we're gonna see if we can uh, get the shifter all ready to go. All right, so we got the shifter in place. It's not bolted down, but um, we got the shifter cable, the second one. Oh my God. Uh, right here, you just have to basically just slide it right in. Just slide that right in and then put the pin through the hole if I can get to it. Oh my God. Boom, just like that. It's all the way in. And now we just have to bolt everything down. Well, actually, we don't. We have to put this back now. Which, this you got to push down. It has like perforations right here. This clip on the top. What, should we bolt it in first? Now that's in. Now I need to find the clips. All right, so now we got the short shifter in and Julian's trying it out. You can definitely tell there's a difference. Like there's a major difference. Other than that, this thing actually like fits. It's like the four, I, I think this is the what? Second short shifter and a Toyota Camry ever recorded, I should say. Um, people done, you know, turbo kits and all that, but they don't record it. But this is definitely one of the many, one of few short shifter installs. 
All right, so now we're at the front. We're gonna see if we can put the shifter bushings in, um, in the front. Uh, this is the, the setup, as you guys know, the uh, turbo setup slope, but it's all right. And the shifter bushings are in the back all the way. If you guys can see that right in the middle. We're gonna see if we can take that off and then switch the bushings out. Uh, both of the shifter cables. Yeah, it's not no, the same size. size. All right, so Julian finally uh, hammered out the that piece right there for the shifter. And we're gonna see if we can uh, basically put, let me see the other piece. We're gonna see if we can put this new one in. This is the old one, this is the stock one. So you see how everything with Toyota has play in the middle. That's all solid. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. What, it doesn't fit? Hell no. You gotta like hammer it in. It just slipped in. Oh, it slipped in. Okay, so look. Now there's you got clips. Something? Yeah. C clips. There's a big one and a small one. That's huge. All right, so we got these C clips here that you have to put on the other side. On here. Um, like basically on. It's on gonna that, grab on yeah. there. Oh, it's gonna go into this little slot right here. Yeah, that slot. So right, you can right. have that aim up. Basically, but gotta put it on right now. Who told me to build a camera, to be honest? No one did. There we go. Second. Which is right there. We're trying to take out that. Julian, the mastermind behind all of this, is trying to take that out. I think you just use a lot of pressure, right? I don't know. Yeah, I just want to try and hold it in one hand. Shine the light. Basically, gotta, just gotta come out. Mm -hmm. I just don't wanna get that cable. That's the brake one, or the uh, clutch on There it is. All right, that's one down. My hand. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it there. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah, you suck. You, are you wearing a watch? Yeah. <laughs> that's why. <water. laughs> What the fuck? Look at this man. Just to get his arm out. Need help? Ah, I broke my watch. <laughs> I just bought it. <laughs> there is no year warranty? I don't know. Uh, Alright. So here's the new. I feel like I'm not going to be able to shift when we put these in because with the short shift there alone, it's really hard to get into gear, but. Let's see if we're gonna have to grind this down or not. All right. Julian can't find it. I just wanna see if we can see the thing for the clip. Yeah. Can you see it? I can't see anything. <laughs> I see that, that's about it. All right, so we got the shifter bushing in right there and we got wait where's the other one? Oh, the other one right there um the pin i think i put in there yeah the pins already in there and we're about to feel the shifter right now oh my god this thing oh 
Oh. Do I have a fifth gear? <laughs> Hold on. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. Yeah. Yeah, try it. Sorry for the mess. Oh my god. Man loves this Chipotle. Chick-fil-A. That's basically the only thing I eat. Yeah, it's definitely earlier. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna turn the car on, let it warm up a little bit, and then go for a little, a little drive around. It's gonna be a cold start too. Alright. Gear, didn't you? No, I didn't. Wow. Uh, reverse. Oh. Alright, so let the car work. And then I'm gonna put the links for shifter bushings and shifter. The shifter is really hard. Um, to do, so I don't know if you guys are gonna try to do that. But, uh, car is good. Alright, I don't know if you guys can hear me through the motor, but. That right there, that um, shifter bushing for, I don't even know what side it's for, but the smaller shifter bushing has a little lip on it, and we had to grind it down with the grinder, um, which is over here. I didn't show that on camera. Uh, he actually told me a little bit later after we did it, but it's too late now. But we just have to grind that down so it's really thin so then you can see the pinhole to uh, basically put the clip through to hold it down. First drive, I drove down the street from my house, but this thing, this thing's a short shifter. Like it really feels like one. That goes into gear. What? Mm -hmm. This is test number one with the uh, short shifter and the shifter bushings.
<laughs> I need to get new brakes too. We just raced that 5.0. Obviously, I lost, but boost kicks in really slow. Look at this. Oh. Great. You can smell the pads too. As long as it's not the clutch. <laughs> as long as it's not the clutch, we're good. But. As long as it's not the clutch or the motor, we're fine. The thing's built to be raced. Even though I lost that race, it's fine. We're good. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy that video. I'm actually recording on my iPhone again. <laughs> but um, basically, we raced that 5.0 mustang um i knew i was gonna lose and I, I already knew that i just wanted to see where i was at um my car was running a little bit hot and you could you could tell the brakes the brakes were on fire <laughs> but if you guys did enjoy that video please leave a like comment and subscribe and be sure to check out the next video that is going to be coming out and i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace out